Welcome to the Jungle Group channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking to Derek Chong, a contemporary artist and architect. He's based in London. Before we go further, don't forget to subscribe. Click the subscribe button below to support and also to see more videos. Without further ado, I'd like to welcome Derek Chong. Thank you very much for taking your time with your busy schedule. See me today. Well, okay, good. The thing is, uh, I've been a follower of your Instagram for some time. Uh, I've seen a series of your stunning painting, the painting of London and public places. Uh, can you tell, tell me a little bit more why, why I'm not trying to convey with your? I think I moved down to London in 2006. reversing the architecture process by which you you turn those existing structures, public places, landmark London dwelling building into two-dimensional uh, uh, drawing by painting them. 
was it part of the plan or how, how, how it just happened? Oh, it just happened. Uh, you can see in my painting and the uh, architectural and the piece, you know, take, uh, traffic and pedestrian, mm. um, which uh, you couldn't buy, you can render in the uh, 3D. Yeah. What are you talking about the, the connection of architecture and your artwork? Because you are within the same frame, basically, after the artist itself. I understood that you have been involved with building projects in London and abroad before. Are you now that you are really active painter? Are you still an active architect or you not really? Um, architect. Parenting has quite a lot of uh, things happen. Um, in the uh, same future, we can do a lot of interesting work that I want. You know, for a long time, that the um, curators, art dealers, and galleries played a very important role in connecting with artists and with the art collectors and uh, art enthusiasts. And then with the rise of so, uh, social media platforms, do you think that it's still the key to see that the uh, artists see that they have uh, social media and then for the artists to be something put by other old systems and a much quicker and cheaper way to reach out to those uh, worldwide audiences? Yeah, um... I would think that it will be struggle for like the artists, like the um, very old artists. Um, they are not sort of um, capable or not very familiar with the computer or the social media. So they depend on the gallery, the art dealer, you know, to promote their work. Yes. So you know, they have to use the time. By learning that kind of thing, the new stuff to be able to put your work and convey the message to the buyer. Right, having, having asked you that question, uh, the art dealers, collectors, uh, galleries, art uh, supporting artists, they seem to be in favor of only the uh, mainstream artists. Uh, how do you think they should change the current business model that works to all our artists? Yes, um, I, I understand what you're saying. Um, like, in this lockdown uh, pandemic period, yeah. we have one artist. He's like our hero. He's yeah. a mafia hero. Right. Yeah, he's um, doing his artist. Uh, support blend right. campaign which is very helpful for the, the, the artists uh, not only this the tiger artists or the mainstream artists as you say so we need somebody somebody like this to be a hero again to organize another campaign which can help uh, the or those who is not established so much yeah. so to be able to promote the art. Right. How would you spend your leisure time in London taking account that London is a vibrant city with so many places to go, galleries, restaurants, bars? Yeah, <laughs> my leisure time is very simple. I just like to eat. You like I to just, eat? Yeah, I just go into the um, very good restaurant right. and tasting a very good food right. and that made my days. What about do you? Do you go to galleries a lot? Smart galleries? Yes, uh, off and on. Yes, um, I do visit quite a lot of the uh, uh, exhibition. What is the what is the what is the plan for once this lockdown uh, is over? What is your plan for next year? Yeah, my plan is just to maybe to buy some gallery to present, to present my work 
and also keep on drawing and to satisfy me and also my art follower. Yeah. And maybe in future, after this thing is gone, maybe I will plan for my second solo exhibition. What is the absolute challenge for being an artist? For me, it's nobody wanted your work. You know, nobody appreciates your work, and nobody sees your work, and uh, you find no way, and and you have to spend a lot of money and do the art exhibition, you have to join the art fair, and then end up by. But you still keep on doing it until somebody one day and somebody recognizes your work. Suppose if you like to see his work on Instagram, can you tell them your Instagram? My Instagram is Derek Chen Art, D E R I C C H N G A R T. Yeah, thank, thank you very you. much. Don't forget to subscribe. Derek, thank you very much.